Hello and welcome to the North Course Valhalla Cup Series, the first race of 2020. We are here at Bristol Motor Speedway, a little late getting into the broadcast here tonight. We want to thank you for joining us uh, for the first broadcast of the new year. Um, these guys have already qualified. Let's run through our starting grid. A lot of familiar faces uh, that we haven't seen in a a little while since the uh, the last event the all-star race here in the Valhalla Cup Series which Malik Ray took home uh, let's take a look at our starting grid and see where your favorite drivers are starting here tonight in tonight's race brought to you by Crockett Creek beef jerky of course a, a great sponsor of this league here Crockett Creek beef jerky so want to give a big shout out to them but let's take a look at our starting grid it looks like Derek Justice gonna be rolling off on the pole here tonight and Dylan Parker going to be starting in the second position on his outside of row number one. Anthony Burrow is going to be rolling off in the third position with Keith Maiato starting in fourth position here tonight. Fifth will be Nicholas Short. Sixth looks like it's going to be Ryan Libby, the number 14 machine, making another start here. In seventh, it'll be Dylan Alt. Joseph Sizak going to be rolling off in the eighth position here tonight. Kirk Marble starting in ninth. Ian Smith going to be rolling off in the tenth position. In 11th, it'll be Skylar Carnes. 12th will be Vince Marsh. 13th is going to be Justin Walters. 14th is going to be Jay Bo. That number 20 machine making another start here. Matt Kemp starting in the 15th position. Chris Samard going to be rolling off in the 16th position here tonight. And rounding up the field in 17th, it'll be Mark Stryker, the number 77. He will be at the tail end of the field. As we get things going here, pace car bring them around for that first lap. They'll be headed to the green flag the next time by. Derek Justice out in front here. Of course, want to introduce you to uh, the channel here. It is V Speed. We want to thank you for tuning in tonight. Hope you guys will enjoy the broadcast. Uh, sorry for the late start here, but we are about to get going. And we have not missed any of the action. As the field working their way down into turns three and four. This is race number 14 of the season. And it should be a good one here. The Coliseum Half Mile Speedway in Bristol, Tennessee. Green flags in the air. We are underway. In the North Force Valhalla Cup Series first race of the new year. Derek Justice jumps out in front. Keith Maiato is going to take over the second position. And he's going to try and track down the 31 Baskin-Robbins machine here on lap one, but not going to be able to do it just yet. As Justice will lead them through turns three and four. Bring up our ticker here so you can follow along with your favorite driver. Derek Justice out in front, leading the way. Here third, Ryan Libby, the number 14 body armor Mustang, doing a good job in the early laps. Nicholas Short, though, looking to the inside, and we do have a caution. And it looks like it's on the opposite side of the track, so let's go take a look. of Vince Marsh was involved in this. We'll see if he was the start or if it happened up in front of him. Uh, he gets a bit sideways, gets a tag there from the 47 machine. That's Skylar Carnes, the 77 of Mark Stryker involved in that. He gets sent around. Chris Samard sneaks through the 46 of Walters, just tags the 48 of Matt Kemp. So a handful of drivers caught up here early on, but not too significant damage. Um, it looks like the 47 looks pretty clean. 16 of Vince Marsh, I think, with the heaviest damage, just the rear end and a little bit on the left front. Actually, the whole front end looks to be pretty beat up. And that will bring out our first caution of the race. And uh, please let me know how all the audio sounds. This is uh, 
the first broadcast of the new year. Got a, a bit of new equipment here over the break. And hopefully the audio mix sounds pretty good. Uh, just let me know. But to also let us know who you're cheering for tonight. Give a big shout out to your favorite driver and we'll let them know that you are here and cheering them on. Derek Justice leads the way here after starting on the pole. He's led every lap. Keith Maiato is going to have a chance to start to his inside on this next restart. We'll have to see how Keith can do down there on that very challenging low line. Pace car lights are still on, so we're going to jump to a quick commercial break. Uh, and hear a word from our sponsor here tonight, Crockett Creek Beef Jerky. At Crockett Creek Beef Jerky, we don't have fancy Madison Avenue advertising. We don't have famous Hollywood endorsements. We don't have mythical creatures as mascots. See, here at Crockett Creek, we're proud of what we don't have. No artificial preservatives or chemicals, gluten-free, and no added MSG. Just all natural, small batch protein made in the foothills of the Smoky Mountains. Enjoy Crockett Creek Jerky, from our backyard to yours. And that is Crockett Creek Beef Jerky. You can find them at crockettcreek.com. Knoxville, Tennessee's very own, very best beef jerky, perfected with love, made with family, and shared with friends. Their homemade beef jerky is full of flavor and hospitality that extends from their backyard to yours. And uh, this is their hometown race here in Bristol, Tennessee. So go check them out and give them your support. Grab yourself some delicious beef jerky as the field making their way out of turn number four. Gonna get the green flag once again. Derek Justice off and rolling. We'll carry the field down into turns one and two. Nicholas Short, a great run out of turn two. He's going to try and take advantage of Keith Maiato, who's got the car stuck down low on that inside lane. Nicholas Short charging hard now. He's closing in Keith Maiato, though. Danger of losing multiple positions as the 14 of Libby. Now the 25 of Dylan Parker going to freight train him. As they go around to the outside, here comes Joseph Sizek, the 53 machine. Throwback Goodyear paint scheme. And Maiato sporting the V-Speed colors. He's losing ground. Ian Smith now goes to the outside. Ian, very strong on the long runs generally, but he's trying to make some gains early on. Already up four positions from where he started. Maiato battling it out with the 47 of Skylar Carnes, who was involved in that last wreck, but able to recover. And points leader Anthony Burrows right here alongside Maiato. Now Maiato comes in in the top 10 in points. A very solid run in the all-star race. But Anthony Burrows has been dominant here this season. Only one finish outside the top five all year. He currently rides in the eighth position here tonight. Meanwhile, at the front, this battle not dying down. Nicholas Short staying right behind Derek Justice as he looks down low, not going to get the grip out of the corner. And uh, just to let you in on the track conditions here tonight, 83 degree air temp, 87 degree track temp. So. Should be plenty of grip for these drivers. And it's going to be 225 laps here tonight in the Crockett Creek Beef Jerky Bristol 225. Let's see what battles we got going on back here. Chris Samard up to 11th, He's trying to track down his teammate there. Looks like we already have three cars out of the race. 46 of Justin Walters uh, grinding against the ground. So he is in trouble in that Crockett Creek beef jerky machine. 
so it has V speed on the deck blade. That car does not look like it's driving at its very best. He's currently six and a half seconds off your leader. gap up to the rest of the field here but let's go on board with mr ryan libby who has started to track down the two leaders he is right there just three and a half tenths behind about a tenth of the race already completed so they come across the line now to begin lap number 23 Everybody doing a good job. Looks like an issue though out of turn number two. We've got another caution. The 47 machine of Skylar Carnes. That car is absolutely destroyed. Let's go back, take a look at what happened here to bring out caution. <laughs> racing behind Anthony Burroughs. I believe this was up inside the top 10. Ian Smith right there. The 42 of Dylan Alt. Uh, not sure. Oh, issue with Ian Smith. What happened with Ian here? Maybe a little... Oh, a little bit of bumping on the straightaway. Ian goes up into the wall. That sends the 47 around. 42 of Alt. Gets tagged just a little bit. We'll have to see from his nose cam what kind of damage he gets from this incident. Just a little tap, nothing serious at all though. It doesn't look like it even crinkled the nose, so Dylan's gonna get away with one there and live to race on. Derek Justice continues to stay out. Or actually, I believe he just pitted. Yes, he did, uh, along with the rest of the field. But he has led every single lap to this point. And Nicholas Short has climbed from fifth up to the second position. And we'll see if he can lead some laps here later on. He's had some good runs this season, uh, but not often the result that uh, he probably deserves from the speed in that race car. Well, let's go to a uh, another quick commercial break here, and we'll be right back with the green flag. Okay, we're going to keep this quick. Because at Blaze Pizza, artisanal quality at crazy fast speed is what we're all about. Fresh dough made from scratch daily. Walk the line and choose any toppings you'd like. It's all one price. Then it's just 180 seconds in our blazing hot oven for fast fire perfection. That's Blaze Pizza. Sound good? Then come check us out and build your own pizza at Blaze Pizza. Gamer 2, what you see and what you hear is what you feel. Butt Kicker, the future is feeling. turns three and four after caution number two came out involving the 47 machine as well as ian smith in the 28 but Derek justice gets him going not a good jump for the 99 but nicholas short dylan parker gonna try and take that spot away he will side by side a little farther back looks like anthony burrows trying to get the pass done 
on Chris Samard, but that is not going to happen as Samard goes to the sixth spot for the moment. But great run by Burroughs. He will capture the position, so good run. So it looks like Samard may be an issue there through the turn. Dylan Alt now to the inside. They make a little bit of contact. That's going to set Alt all the way down to the apron. And he will lose a spot or two as Keith Maiato goes to the outside now. Derek Justice continuing the lead. Dylan Parker and Nicholas Short. Short with a great run out of turn four. Trying to close that gap back up. That is the battle for second place. Anthony Burroughs back here. He is trying to chase down Ryan Libby and Joseph Sizek. And that would be to get up inside the top five, but he currently rides in sixth. Just outside the top ten here, we've got Mark Stryker, Justin Walters. He's got a bit of damage fixed on that car. But just 13 cars left on the racetrack out of the 17 that started. Derek Justice fighting off a hard-charging Dylan Parker. And everybody on four fresh tires uh, from that last pit stop. But Parker with a great run down low. Not able to capitalize on it at the moment. And here comes Nicholas Short trying to close back in. your three-way battle for the lead. It's about a second back to Ryan Libby in fourth. Just behind him is Anthony Burroughs, who does take away the fifth position, so doing a good job moving forward there. And Joseph Sizek will drop back to the sixth position. Chris Samard moving up to seventh. After starting in the 16th position, second to last on the field. Up now, uh, looking to try and get another top five here. Mahato and Ian Smith. Oh, and they pile it up on this front straightaway. The 77 of Mark Stryker into the inside barrier. That'll bring out caution number three. Let's go take a look at what caused this one. <laughs> is battling it out with Kirk Marble. They make a bit of contact. The 42 goes low. He gives a tap to the 36. That sends my auto around. The 42 is caught up. And Mark Stryker locking up the brakes. He loses control of that race car. And heavy contact to the nose of the sponsor list number 77. And he will have a hard time repairing that race car. See if he does repair or takes it behind the wall here. Looks like they will service the vehicle. So we'll see what he can get done to get back up to speed. But Derek Justice continues to show the way he's led every lap. And he's looking for his first victory of the year. Derek Justice currently sits second in the point standings, so he's he's had a solid year uh, with three podiums on the season. Uh, not quite the year that I think he he was hoping for. He start and it definitely started out with some bad luck. Uh, he has had three podiums, one runner-up finish, but uh, not quite as dominant as we often see Derek. But looks like his luck might turn around here hopefully we don't jinx him with that uh, but Derek currently leading the field and 
led every lap to this point. And the top four did stay out under caution here, and Anthony Burrows, the first car to take fresh tires, he'll sit in the fifth position, trying to climb back up through the field after pitting on that early caution. We'll see if Anthony can get up there and challenge for another win. This would be it would be his fifth of the season in 13 races. Uh, he did finish third at the uh, All-Star race last week, but uh, even including that, he has only had one finish outside the top five, and that was in the second race of the year at Auto Club, where he actually came from uh, towards the back in 21st to a sixth-place finish. So. Anthony just on a tear here to open this season. And he has not let off the gas since they've gotten going. Obviously just uh, been very successful here and looking to continue that streak as Derek just is looking to break the streak and get a win. We'll see if he can do that here. This would be quite the venue for it as he gets off and running. Green flag back in the air. Dylan Parker and Nicholas Short behind him. Battling it out for that second spot. Ryan Libby right there as well. He goes to the outside of Nicholas Short. Really dives it in the corner. And Short trying to find a gap there. He will slip up in front of the 14. And Anthony Burroughs trying to hang on for dear life down low. 53 is Sizek. It's a little bit tight coming out of the corner. He will lose some ground, but so difficult to make that inside line work, especially with the high horsepower or low horsepower, high down force. These guys pretty much all running that high to low line. Not seeing a ton of passing. It's Derek Justice out in front of the 25 with Dylan Parker has arrived. Well, front three starting to break away once again as Dylan Parker juked low and now jumps high. Doesn't quite have the run to make the pass. But he is all over the back bumper. And first car on fresh tires now, Joseph Sizek as we have Thought we might have had a caution coming out there, but everybody keeping it straight. And here goes Nicholas Short down to the inside. Is he going to be able to make the pass? Not going to have the speed out of turn number four. And he is focused forward on those two race cars in front of him. Dylan Parker, Derek Justice fighting for those top spots. And Nicholas Short looking for his first victory of the season as well. He comes in on the cutoff, or at the cutoff line. He does have four top tens. He has a top five and a pole. And a decent amount of laps led here, but has not had... Uh, the results that he would like to have seen. A lot of great qualifying efforts recently, and tonight is no different, starting in fifth position, but he's under pressure now from Ryan Libby. about a quarter of the way through there now. Uh, still 13 cars on the racetrack. Justin Walters is the last one on the speedway in 13. He's been working to get damage repaired on that race car. Finally getting up into uh, competitive lap times with the, the drivers just outside the top 10. Keith Mayato has got a very beat up race car as he rides in the 10th position. Kirk Marble sits in 11th here. Mark Stryker, 
not too far behind him. Uh, but they both sit about five to six seconds back. And meanwhile, it looks like Ryan Libby fighting with Nicholas Short. That has allowed the 53 of Joseph Sizek and the 62 of Anthony Burroughs to start closing in. And they are on 15 or 16 lap pressure tires meaning they should have the advantage as the laps wear on. Burroughs unable to make that pass happen down low. Sizek hanging on in the fifth position. Now Burroughs a good run through one and two, but still cannot put the throttle down. Let's go on board with Anthony. doing a good job just hanging with these guys trying to find any advantage 14 machine Ryan Libby going low here he's gonna get right up to Nicholas Short and they make contact around goes the 99 down into the inside wall and such a promising start for Nicholas Short I'm gonna go up and smoke here as he was able to limit the damage but Nicholas Short Gonna be on the back foot now, all the way back in 13th. And only about four seconds in front of your leader, Derek Justice. Can't quite see him. There he is back there, that is your leader. And Nicholas Short goes from, I believe third, all the way back to 13th. So huge shake up there. Derek Justice now pulls a 1.3 second gap over Dylan Parker. That gap gonna continue to grow if these lap times remain about how they are. Uh, two tenths of a second difference there between Justice and Parker. The gap now up to 1.5. Burroughs in the fourth position. He was able to make it through all that contact that happened up there. The 53 right up next to the wall. I'll tell you, a couple drivers starting to make their way back forward. That's Ian Smith and Chris Samard who ride nose to tail. The fifth and sixth positions. We have Gilson racing here, cheering on the number 31 machine. That is Derek Justice, as well as the number 14, Ryan Libby, who takes it behind the wall. So Libby is all out of this one, and Derek Justice, dominating performance. He's led every lap. And out in front of Dylan Parker now by over two seconds. He scrapes the track bar all the way through the corner along with all of these other drivers. Oh, the 53 of Sizek bounces it off the inside wall. Is he able to hang on to it? He, he is. What a great job. And he made a little contact with Dylan Parker. It shot him down the track. He clipped the inside wall with the left rear. One more look at this. Could have been a bigger wreck, but he was able to Keep the car down in that lower groove. And he will drop to eighth position, so. Good Gilson now cheering on the 46. That is Justin Walters. So let's short by. Short gonna go up to 11th now, trying to climb back towards the front. With a bit of damage, he is losing time. That time by three tenths slower than your leader, but now jumps back into the top ten. As he passes up Kirk Marble. So 
just 12 cars on the racetrack now. Derek Justice looking to put a couple more laps down, and this would leave just 10 on the lead lap, as every driver is on the lead lap at the moment. And the 46 of Walters just went by. I think Kirk Marble is going to do the same, and he will. Derek Justice puts those two a lap down, and they'll have to fight it out for the lucky dog. It's been about 56 laps on this set of tires for Derek Justice. 39 or so for the rest of the field. Other than a couple drivers, it's Nicholas Short with 56 and Dylan Parker with 57 laps on his tires. And this is now a battle for second place. Ian Smith, Anthony Burrows, as well as Chris Samard in the picture. All these guys trying to capture a win here. Ian looking for his first, Chris his first, but uh, that 62 machine looking for his fifth of the season. And starting to close in on your leader, Derek Justice. You look out the nose, for Mr. Anthony Burroughs, number 62 race car. That is Derek Justice up there. That time by about a tenth and a half faster. that rate he would get there uh, right around lap 100. Let's see what he can do this time. Another tenth and a half knock off of the lead. You can tell Anthony really wheeling that race car as he tagged the back bumper on the outside wall. For some hard starting to fight that race car as well. Justice has dominated to this point. His lead starting to shrink, though. He is on the older tires, and Anthony Burroughs finally breaking through traffic. Makes his way up to the second position. So it is on from here. This could be a very good battle, and uh, who knows when they're going to have to pit? Probably about lap 150 maybe a little bit after that um, but with the new tire model you can actually have issues with your tires and you don't want to wear them out too much so too many laps could definitely do that you take a look here with Mr. Ian Smith will do a quick recap. Three cautions, no lead changes. As Derek Justice has led the entire way to this point. The lead now almost under a second is Anthony Burroughs. Closing in Chris Samard also. Actually, Chris Samard fastest on the racetrack. Can Chris Samard get up there and challenge for his first win? Chris comes in fourth in points. Actually, your top four in points, currently top four on the racetrack. Uh, a little bit mixed up, but Samard with a third place finish at the last points paying race at Michigan. His best of the season and currently riding that momentum here. Sitting in third once again. All the way up from 16th, he is the biggest mover no doubt at all. Derek Justice sees that 62 and 37 closing in. Lap after lap, Derek really sliding the entry there. Able to keep the speed up though, he's gotta push that race car. He can't burn those tires too much as he is already at a disadvantage in that way. He tries to hang on to it here. Take a look back at number 46, Justin Walters, who uh, 
being cheered on by Gilson Racing. Looks like he uh, does the paint scheme for Gilson. And uh, currently sitting back here in the 11th position. Second car one lap down. Mark Stryker not far behind him. And he is not far from going a lap down. That's Eric Justice closing in. We only have nine cars on the lead lap. That would be Stryker the last of them. Justice, though, under pressure. Anthony Burroughs has arrived. Just three tenths or a quarter of a second now the difference. Chris Samard under three quarters of a second back. And he's trying to just stay with these two. And hope for his opportunity as now Anthony Burroughs gets right up to the back bumper. He's going to go to the inside. Where does the lap car go? He's going to go all the way down to the apron. That will clear things up for a moment. Chris Samard creeping in now just four tenths back. As these two race it out side by side, that's going to slow up Anthony Burroughs significantly. And now it is a three-way fight for the lead. Approaching halfway, it is anyone's race here. We do have multiple cars with damage, but uh, these three at the front are pretty clean still. As Burroughs tries to get up in front of Samar, but he cannot do it. Samard really trying to push that exit. Burroughs is going to slip in line now. Now jumps back to the inside. Samard, oh, contact. The 62 of Burroughs trying to hang on to it. He gets very sideways. He will hang on to it, but caution is going to fly. Anthony Burroughs racing it up for the lead with Derek Justice. Let's go take a look. They just make some contact there. And great job hanging on to it. He actually only lost one spot to Chris Samard, which might even be preferred on the restart. We'll have to see what everybody does. Dylan Alt going to stay on the racetrack. And it looks like he's going to try and be the first new leader. Derek Justice going to win the battle off of pit lane. Nicholas Short is your lucky dog. Chris Samard beats the 62 out of the pit lane there. And uh, it will be 1, 2, 3. Dylan Alt, we'll see what he does. He will bring it down. We'll see if he can lead a lap here. And looks like he will. So through the pit cycle... We have a new leader, Dylan Alt, but Derek Justice is going to recapture the lead here once things settle back out. We want to thank you for tuning in to V-Speed. Hope you guys are enjoying the race so far. Just about halfway here in the Valhalla Cup Series. Crockett Creek Beef Jerky, Bristol 225. We are live right now on Twitch at V-Speed. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider following or subscribing. It really helps us continue to bring you great content each and every week. Also, check us out on YouTube where we post race replays as well as other interesting automotive and racing content. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash vspeedsim or on Instagram and Twitter. And we post our race announcements to each of those media outlets before each and every broadcast as well as on-site reporting, special events, and new merchandise. So check us out over on those platforms if you haven't already. Let's hear a quick word from another one of our sponsors, and we will be right back with the green flag.
they just went green. Derek Justice out in front. Chris Samard trying to get a good restart. He's going to try and fight off the 62 of Burroughs, who takes it up high. Samard going to try and close the door, and he will do so. Oh, he's getting loose, though. Hangs on to it. Oh, he's losing the back end. Now there's Dylan Alt. They're going to make contact. That sends Alt and Samard down into the inside wall. And tragedy for the 37 of Samard. Who's going to go all the way to the tail end of the lead lap. If not, going to get lapped here. And there goes Derek Justice now. And Samard just got loose. And that opens up the gap now from Justice to Burroughs. to three quarters of a second, but... We saw the long run speed out of the 62 machine there. And they should be able to run the rest of the distance, I think. Maybe a little bit close on fuel, but we will have to see as Anthony Burroughs a bit of a slide through the corner there. And he lost a lot of time trying to gain it on the turn entry. Oh, Ian Smith with an issue. He's fighting it up with the 53 machine. And Samard trying to claw his way back forward. Looks like issues under braking now for these guys rather than on turn. Oh, and the 53 into the wall. They're stacking it up here. Chris Samard going to get tagged by Nicholas Short. That'll send him around and probably going to bring a caution out. And it will. Chris Samard caught up. Kirk Marble going around. He's going to slam the inside wall. All kinds of problems here to bring out another caution. Let's turn it and Chris Samard was uh, trying to check up for all of this. He does, and the 28 cuts down. He gets hit from behind. That'll send him around. Good job to stay off the inside wall. And Kirk Marble spins down into the inside pit wall his car just misses him so that was a close call there but uh, looks like Kirk maybe just locked it up a little bit too much uh, car kind of stepped out on him very interesting timing but I've already seen that happen once or so And I'm thinking that the cold tires at the start of a run must be tough to handle. We saw Samard with the issue there, uh, as well as others starting to get loose. 53 of Joseph Sizek with heavy damage to the right side of his race car. As he sits and gets that repaired, the leaders are making their way across the start finish line. It's going to be a close one at the line. Looks like Joseph will beat pace car out so he'll stay on the lead lap and I'm not sure who got the lucky dog possibly Justin Walters Derek Justice has led 120 out of the 121 laps the only other leader Dylan Alt through the pit cycle earlier and uh, to recap, five cautions, just the two lead changes between Justice and Alt. And just past halfway here, let us know who you are cheering on tonight. And we will shout you out in the chat. Let these drivers know that you're cheering them on. Hope you guys are enjoying the broadcast. We want to thank Crockett Creek Beef Jerky for sponsoring tonight's event. Let's hear a quick word from them, and we'll be back with the green flag. At Crockett Creek Beef Jerky, we don't have fancy Madison Avenue advertising. We don't have famous Hollywood endorsements. We don't have mythical creatures as mascots. If you hear Crockett Creek, we're proud of what we don't have. No artificial preservatives or chemicals gluten-free, 
and no added MSG. Just all natural, small batch protein made in the foothills of the Smoky Mountains. Enjoy Crockett Creek Jerky. Eric Justice looking to lead the field once again to this restart. He has been on fire, but he's had some challengers. As Anthony Burroughs lines up in third here, he's going to try and jump to second and get out in front of Ian Smith. Looks like Ian not going to put up too much of a fight, but gets a big run out of the corner. Nowhere to go with that run now. Nicholas Short, who was caught up in that last wreck, trying to hang on. Uh, Dylan Parker with a big slide there. Very close to making contact with Dylan Alt. Let's see how this happened. Just gets sideways out of turn four and trying to collect that race car. Very good job to stay off. So now Joseph Sizek to the outside. Going to try and make that pass happen. He will go to the seventh position. Dylan Alt going to lose a position there with heavy damage on that race car. Chris Samard did bring it down the pit lane, did not try and take a wave around. As he sits in the 10th position in the lucky dog spot. And only 11 drivers on the track, uh, on or under power at least. Kirk Marble in the 11th position. Currently three laps down, and it looks like Justin Walters did take it behind the wall. And uh, Gilson, I do believe they can make it. Um, some drivers may have to conserve more than others as Derek Justice with 23 laps on this set of tires and fuel. Meanwhile, Anthony Burrows, Nicholas Short, Keith Maiato, and Dylan Parker. Uh, and Chris Samard all with 10 laps on this set. Uh, a couple other drivers pitting one or two laps later. And they should be able to go uh, a lap or two farther. And it looks like Ian Smith is off the racetrack. So Ian calling it a night. And he will come home in the 11th position. He comes in third place in the points, so not going to help him out too much, but he does have a small gap back to Chris Samard, and Chris will uh, will beat him here tonight, but it doesn't look like he'll be able to jump that points gap. And most likely going to come out of here with the same top four uh, in points as we came in. Keith Maiato, though, just nine points behind Chris Samard, and that would move Keith to the fourth position. And Keith currently riding in the fourth spot on track as he completes the pass on Dylan Parker. Derek just is not able to pull away too much. Anthony Burroughs is back there. Just three quarters of a second uh, in his tire tracks. So we've seen Anthony save the tires a bit more on the long runs. Nicholas Short has climbed back up to be a challenger once again. After actually getting lapped earlier. He is starting to close in on Anthony Burroughs. Uh, those top three, the clear fastest on the speedway. Ride Nicholas Short about a tenth faster than Anthony Burroughs. As Anthony continues to ride that low line. And if you can be good down there, you can be good just about anywhere on this racetrack. That is the hardest place to drive around here. 
the vintage Bristol wine. And short, just about three tenths back, trying to close in on Burroughs. That would be the second position. And they are both starting to lose a little bit of time to Derek Justice, but once again, Derek on older tires and uh, definitely was hurting him later on uh, on one of our long runs earlier. Looks like he nearly brushes the wall there. Derek having a very strong run here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Another driver uh, making a rare start here. Joseph Sisek might be his first start, actually. Going through. Yeah, it is his first start. We're used to seeing him run in the Raider SK Modified Series. Uh, but now that that season is over... He is out here racing the cup cars as Chris Smard looks to his inside, not on the same lap. But Smard up to ninth in the running order. And his next target is Mark Stryker, who's almost an entire lap ahead of him. But Stryker has uh, ridden this thing out. He is in the eighth spot. Starting shotgun on the field, so uh, gotta give him some credit for continuing to make some laps out here and uh, stay in contention on this lead lap. He's fighting for a position with Dylan Alt, so uh, Dylan, the only other person to lead a lap here other than Derek Justice. So. Dylan comes in sixth in the point standings. Uh, he had a runner-up finish at the Charlotte Roval um, back in early December. And a handful of top tens here, five to be exact, uh, in the first 12 races. But four DNFs have really uh, hurt his points gains. But he comes in uh, pretty solidly inside the, uh, the chase few drivers that are towards the bottom not showing up here tonight though so there might be a, a change there just at the cut line it's Jimmy Mullis was on the outside but Kirk Marbles here uh, I don't see Zach Nichols or Malik Ray here so those guys just inside the cut line and uh, in danger of falling out At the front though, Derek Justice continues to lead. And he has led every lap but one. Anthony Burroughs will see if he can start to mount a charge here. As he rides that low line a little bit loose out of the corner there. Hanging on to it. What a good job to save the race car there. Nicholas Short still about a half second behind. Let's go on board with Nicholas here. You get an idea of what these guys are working with late in the run. Yeah, those rear tires starting to lift off. And uh, a little early on the throttle. See him get sideways there. Now makes his way around Kirk Marble. And these guys about maintaining lap times uh, with your leader, Derek Justice, but no gains being made. Uh, Justice was fastest on the racetrack uh, last time by. Let's see what it is this time as they make their way across the line again. 
Anthony Burrows, your fastest on track this time by about six hundredths of a second. And definitely looks like a handful. The car's starting to slide out of the corner. Top two in points fighting it out for a win here. The gap now can cut down to 1.3 seconds. And just over 60 laps to go. Derek Justice going to be able to hang on to it. Or has he cooked his tires a little too soon? Or is Anthony Burroughs just that good at saving them? The gap just one and a quarter seconds. Nicholas Short is starting to close back in. Anthony Burroughs. Under half a second separating those two. Just about three quarters of the way completed here. Uh, actually, just a little bit past that. As Short is closing in, they're both gaining, however, on Derek Justice. Also, Dylan Alt back in seventh. He's picked up the pace, uh, but he's well behind those top five drivers and uh, not consistent enough with those lap times to be able to get up there. And not enough time, honestly, if he was just running the same laps as the leaders. We are keeping an eye on things here. Going to cut quickly to a side-by-side -side commercial break. And we'll be right back with more racing action. Okay, we're going to keep this quick. Because at Blaze Pizza, artisanal quality at crazy fast speed is what we're all about. Fresh dough made from scratch daily. Walk the line and choose any toppings you'd like. It's all one price. Then it's just 180 seconds in our blazing hot oven for fast fire perfection. That's Blaze Pizza. Sound good? Then come check us out and build your own pizza at Blaze Pizza. Kicker Gamer 2, what you see and what you hear is what you feel. Butt Kicker, the future is feeling. up here Derek Justice Anthony Burroughs just separated by about a half second Nicholas Short just another half second back and it is getting feisty up here Burroughs really closing that gap that time by it looks like Nicholas Short was the fastest on the speedway about a sec or a tenth of a second faster Keith Maiato also running almost an identical lap time, but he is eight seconds back. While still running in fourth, he's eight seconds back as the top three all separated by less than three tenths of, or three quarters of a second, rather. And uh, Nicholas Short will start to put pressure on these top two as he is moving. a uh, glimmer of hope after all that, that chaos that ensued early on in this race. He has closed back in, climbed up towards the top. Anthony Burrows almost catching the wall. What a slide through the corner, and he gets a great run. 
closes in on Derek Justice. You can see the different approaches. Oh, and Dylan Parker. Holy cow, Dylan Parker had an issue right in front of the leaders. And Caution is going to fly. That's going to set up another battle. But Anthony Burroughs was getting there. He must be just devastated at that. Let's see what happens with Dylan Parker. As he was racing it up with Dylan Alt and it looks like Joseph Sizek. 53 goes down low. 42 trying to make a move down low this time. And they make a little contact. 25 bounces it off the outside wall, over corrects. Back up into the racetrack and then tries to get on the throttle. And holy cow, that was a close call for Derek Justice and company. And let's go see what it looked like from the in car. Often a uh, very blind exit to the corner and you can't even see Dylan until it's pretty late. And did Nicholas Short get a piece of that? They were all fine. Great job by those guys to avoid the wreck. Top four do uh, that looks like Dylan all actually led another lap. So Dylan trying to upset the balance here a little bit. Derek Justice has led all the other ones. Yeah, I think uh, Anthony Burroughs, he's been running that bottom for a reason, trying to figure it out, trying to get some speed working down there, and he has been flying on the long runs. As Derek Justice going to jump back to the lead. Burroughs in second, Nicholas Short in third. These top three all just so close in terms of speed, especially on the long run. Uh, the 62 and the 99 really getting the advantage over Derek that time. Is Chris Savard going to take the lucky dog here, or the wave around, rather? And it looks like he will potentially... Uh, he'll get back on the lead lap. We'll see if he can stay there. But 64 laps on the tires. That was an exciting battle. I am so glad that we were able to come back and see that. Yes, now Smart is going to go back onto the lead lap. Derek Justice and Anthony Burroughs lining up for the restart. And looks like Derek going to elect to take the inside. And that'll give Anthony Burroughs a shot up there on the outside. And Nicholas Short going to have to try and time it perfectly as well so your top five are Derek Justice, Anthony Burroughs Nicholas Short, Dylan Alt and Keith Maiato Joseph Sizek right there behind them and Derek Justice a good restart Anthony Burroughs going to try and muster up all the momentum he can he gets a bit sideways out of the corner there just two car lengths the gap and under 50 laps to go. The battle for the win. Derek Justice looking for his first on the season. And he's going to have to hold off Anthony Burroughs, who is putting up a hard charge right now. Right to the back bumper here. And he looks down low, really slides it in on entry. And they go side by side. We've seen contact for the lead. With a few of these guys, I believe uh, Anthony Burroughs actually getting part of that and Nicholas Short have all been involved in something here at the front of the pack. Derek Justice has been out in front of it all night. And he's going to try and keep it that way. Top 
three once again breaking away. Dylan all up to fourth. He's bypassed Keith Miato. And both those cars with heavy damage, not able to keep up with the leaders. We'll see what Burroughs can do here. Nicholas Short waiting in the wings to see what can happen between those two as they start to fight. Short looking to uh, get a little bit of revenge from uh, his opportunity in Michigan where he started on the pole and led 40 laps. Looked like the dominant car for a good portion of that race. Uh, ended up coming home with a fifth place finish. But he's looking for a victory here and that would help secure his spot in the chase as he comes in on the cutoff line. They are pretty much nose to tail. Dylan Alt is losing them. Keith Maiato not far behind him. And uh, they still have a shot at it as Maiato brushes the outside wall there. Joseph Sizak gets a bit loose. He'll try the inside line, but no grip down there. And that would be uh, for a fifth place finish here. Maiato has fifth. Sizak in that sixth spot. And his first start here in the Cup cars. Chris Samard, uh, well off the pace on those very old tires. Just about a half lap down right now. And we'll see if he can stay on the lead lap and hang on to this eighth position with only 10 drivers left on the racetrack. Dylan Parker brings it back down the pit lane and he may be calling it an evening. Very long extended stop. I am going to guess he's either getting mandatory damages fixed or he's, yep, he takes it behind the wall now. So this is the fight for the, the win and for the lead here. Anthony Burroughs trying to extend his points over Derek Justice, but Derek trying to claw a little bit back and also capture his first win. And under 25 to go, gonna be going up to 20 here in just a couple laps. Burrow's right up by that outside wall. He's carrying as much speed, trying to stay as close as possible and force that 31 into an uncharacteristic mistake. But Derek a little bit loose out of the corner there. They're all loose. And this is the fight for all the glory here in the Coliseum. Such a fun track to race at. I know one of my favorites. You love short track racing. This is kind of the holy grail of that. The fastest half mile in the world. These guys just flying around here. With these high bank concrete corners. 31 machine to Derek Justice showing the way. 205 laps led out of the 207 that have been run absolutely dominating performance and he's just got a little ways to go it's not over yet Anthony Burrow's pushing really hard on this run we haven't seen him do that and what is the effect going to be on those tires and how does Derek handle the pressure You can check Derek's stream out on Twitch here as well. It's Justice, his last name. You want to see what his in-car view looks like in his commentary and focus. But he is under serious pressure from Burroughs. And uh, Nicholas Short has started to fall off of those two. Not sure if he's trying to save something 
for the last few laps, but he is not in the fight right now. Chris Samar not too far in front of these guys. He may be a factor. We'll have to see what happens as they are catching him rapidly. Chris is going to go right down to the inside, but even just having another car on track in front of you can be a distraction. Those two clear. Samard, and they're able to, uh, to make their way around the speedway. Coming up to 10 laps to go in just a couple laps. Derek just is fastest on the speedway right now. That's what he has to be to keep this lead and try and capture his first win. The Baskin Robbins number 31. And Anthony Burroughs trying that inside line did not work for him that time by. Let's see what he has here. He doesn't try it again. Probably a good move. That gap starting to grow as Burroughs tags the wall. Kirk Marble up in the way though. And not many laps left. It's going to take a mistake from Derek Justice. As Marble a bit sideways, he's going to let these two go. And Burroughs brushes the wall again. Derek Justice, when it matters, pulling away. And that gap growing rapidly now. Anthony Burroughs has used everything he has, but one mistake and he'll be right back in the fight. Derek Justice coming to five to go this time by. Trying to seal the deal. And everybody else pretty spaced out. Doesn't look like we'll have a caution unless it comes down to uh, a big mistake from one of these drivers, but four to go. They gap just under one second, and Derek Justice is pulling away. What a relief it must be to see those cars that were faster than him on the long run finally pushing as hard as he is. Not able to keep up as Justice three laps to go. Anthony Burroughs fought hard, and he's probably going to come home second place tonight. He brushes the wall there. Ah, oh, Nicholas Short, huge brush against the wall. Dylan Alt, keep my auto not far behind. Well, this is gonna be your closest battle on the speedway. Chris Smart has been out there over 100 laps and white flag gonna go in the air. Derek Justice looking for his first win of the year. Going to come in lucky number 13, and he will do it. Derek Justice wins at Bristol. Congratulations to Mr. Derek Justice, who started on the pole. He leads all but two laps in a dominating performance. He's able to fight off Anthony Burroughs and Nicholas Short on multiple attempts. And he will come home your winner here tonight. Definitely best car on the short run, and uh, on that last run, it was apparent he had the speed when it mattered with just 42 laps on that stint. And he comes home your winner here tonight. So we're going to wait for him to do his celebratory burnout, and then we're going to jump to commercial break and be back with driver interviews. And there it is. Derek Justice. Baskin Robbins machine. Congratulations to him, and we will jump to commercial break and be right back. Huh. With the Butt Kicker Gamer 2, what you see. And what you hear is what you feel. 
butt kicker. The future is feeling. Crockett Creek Beef Jerky, we don't have fancy Madison Avenue advertising. We don't have famous Hollywood endorsements. We don't have mythical creatures as mascots. If you hear Crockett Creek, we're proud of what we don't have. No artificial preservatives or chemicals, gluten-free, and no added MSG. Just all natural, small batch protein made in the foothills of the Smoky Mountains. Enjoy Crockett Creek Jerky, from our backyard to yours. And we are back. We're going to be bringing in our third place finisher here tonight, Mr. Nicholas Short, to get a word in, word in with him before we get to second and first place here. So, Nicholas Short, this is Adam, the V-Speed booth. You got a copy? Hey, Nicholas, this is Adam, the V-Speed booth. You got a copy? Yeah, I got a copy. Sorry, I was across the room. What's up? Hey, no problem at all. Uh, well, you had a great race here tonight. Nicholas came up a bit short uh, at the end, but uh, you were up and down throughout the field here. Uh, give us a rundown on your race and uh, how you felt the car was here tonight. Yeah, the car was uh, good. The new tire model's fun around this track. Um, it was nice there at the end of the race to finally uh, show that I had some form of speed on a long run because I've struggled with that over the last two, three years. Um, I've always... When we compare uh, right front tires and everything after the pit stops, I always have the worst by about 10%. So it was nice to, you know, do that little long run there. And I felt like I had the best tires or at least second best to Anthony. And then, yeah, that caution came out and that kind of just relegated me to third. It kind of relegated Anthony to second. And we were just driving home at that point. But overall, good race. Finally, nice to get a result this season. Um, it's been rough. I've done a lot of races about 20 laps down. So, feels yeah. nice. Feels nice to finish where I deserve for once. Yeah, your best finish of the season. Your previous best was uh, the last race at Michigan uh, with the top five. So, two consecutive top fives. This one's a podium. And uh, you definitely did have, uh, I believe, the fastest car uh, on that long run coming up to uh, to the final caution. But uh, it, was, uh, it was a lot of fun to watch you and uh, Anthony try and claw your way back after being about a second and a half or two seconds back uh you just you know constantly chopped away at the lead and uh you know what what did it take on those long runs to conserve the tires as much as you did and uh how was the car feeling uh you know about 100 laps in like it was yeah well the first run um when i got in that little uh incident with i honestly forgot who i think it was ryan libby yeah um at the end of that run i had a 45 right front and I was, and that's awful. I was about half a second off. And so I really had to just think like, okay, what, what do I need to do to uh, get these tires to the end? And that was just, I realized I was driving in too far under the corners. And so once I was able to back up and just focus on, yeah, you might destroy the rear tires a little bit more, but you'll keep the front tires intact, you know, intact. And at a track like this, that's everything. So I was just trying to back up the corners um, I was kind of running my own little line uh, where I'd enter high and then kind of come down in three and four and same in one and two. And it ended up, I was scared I was going to wear my tires anyway doing that, but I ended up just doing it just right, which again, felt really nice because I've struggled with that for a long time. But yeah, about a hundred laps into the run, it just, 
wouldn't turn very well, whether you would save the tires good or not. And um, just, you know, it was just slower. That's all I really got to say. Yeah, and uh, you guys did a great job, made it very exciting. Um, it was a top three breakaway and uh, all within uh, about a second for a while there. So I uh, can't really ask for a whole lot more than that. Uh, we head to Watkins Glen next week. Uh, what are your thoughts on going up to that road course? Well, I do consider myself more of a road driver. I did struggle during the A-Fix week with uh, the A-Car. So I got some work to do there. Um, but, I, yeah, I've always gone really well at Watkins Glen, Sonoma, all the road courses. So I'm excited for that one. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out for you there and see if you can continue this hot streak. Uh, two top fives in a row. Anybody you want to give a shout-out to for tonight's third-place result? Um, well, I was talking to Anthony the whole race, and he did a great job. I'd like to give a shout-out to him. Um, he's my good friend. He's had a tremendous season. Uh, and I'd also like to give a shout-out to uh, Derek. He did a good job keeping the thing up front and uh, snatching the win. 10-4 yeah, on that. Well, congrats on the third-place finish here tonight, Nicholas, and we will see you next week at Watkins Glen. Yeah, thank you for everything you do for the series. And no problem at all. Thanks for putting on a great show. Yeah, thank you. All right, that was third place finisher Nicholas Short. Let's go to second place finisher Anthony Burroughs. We'll see if we can pull him up into the booth. Anthony Burroughs, this is Adam, the V Speed booth. You got a copy? Yeah, I got you. Well, Anthony, you gave it a, a, a great charge there. You gave Derek a run for his money. Just came up a little bit short uh, on that short uh, 40 lap run at the end. So, uh, you know, what was the difference uh, on that run versus the one before? Was it just the fact that you didn't have as much time to work um the big difference is uh the run was so short to the end i kind of had to run the high side because uh it, it really took about 40 laps for that bottom to come in and that's that's how long the run was so there's no point in even trying to go down there uh and, I, and on top of that i was just getting dirty air from him too run like round his bump for that whole run i just just eventually fell off final 10 laps but uh i mean he did a really great job keeping up there though Props to him. Yeah, it was definitely exciting to see you and Nicholas uh, charge up from almost two seconds back at one point, and you were right there fighting for it. And if that ha caution hadn't come out, it's going to be a very exciting final run. But uh, we did see you working that low line, and you were basically the only one out there. Um, is that just something you like to do around this track, or were you finding something down there, um, you know, that that you liked? Um, yeah, overall, uh, throughout the years, uh, running the bottom throughout the whole run really saves the right front a lot better. Um, yeah, I had about a tenth on Derek towards the end of that run because the bottom just, I mean, it, I guess it just saves tires a lot better. Uh, and Nick Nick was kind of making it work too. Uh, we were both uh, like right on Derek towards the end of that. But um, yeah, I wish I could have gone green to the end. I would have liked to see how that played out. Uh, it would have been tough to pass him, but um, yeah, that could have been a fun battle though for sure. Yeah, and it was exciting uh, regardless. Even just getting up to his back bumper, it was uh, a lot of fun to watch. Uh, you get another top five here. This is another podium for you. You're going to probably get uh, – you're going to maintain your points lead, which is already a massive lead. But we head to Watkins Glen next week. Uh, what are your thoughts on going out there? I'm excited. Um, I'm, I've always been a huge fan of the, the road courses, uh, with the NASCAR stuff, so that will be a fun one. Um, I know Nick and Dylan all are pretty good on the road courses, so uh, that could be a fun battle with them. Um, not sure if I'm liking the setup so far for the A car there, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, we'll definitely keep our eye on you. See if you can continue this top five streak. It's uh, since week number two, you've uh, you haven't finished outside the top five, so um, an awesome season so far, and uh, only getting better and better as it seems. So. Uh, anybody you want to give a shout out for tonight's second place run? Yeah, big shout out to you guys for putting on the broadcast. Um, shout out to all the sponsors in this race. Um, big shout out to Derek getting the win. Um, did a great job all race. Um, and also a big shout out to Nick. Uh, it's probably his best race of the year. He, he was really quick tonight. Yeah, definitely a fun one to watch. Thanks for putting on a great show. And uh, we'll catch up with you next week at Watkins Glen. Thank you. That was second place finisher here tonight, Anthony Burrows. We're going to bring in tonight's race winner, Mr. Derek Justice. This is Adam, the V-Speed Booth. You got a copy? Hey, Derek, this is Adam, the V-Speed Booth. You got a copy? 
Yes, I do. Copy. Well, Derek, you finally get the monkey off your back here in this series. You get your first victory in dominating fashion. Uh, you had to hold off Anthony Burrows and Nicholas Short on, uh, on many different times, but uh, you know, how'd you do it out there tonight and uh, hang on to this thing? Well, first thing, qualifying and pole is a very, very big deal. So uh, you pretty much uh, tried to dictate the race and your pace uh, when you get the pole position. And uh, running the top side, I knew it was going to be key, but uh, running the bottom will be beneficial saving tires, but I couldn't run the bottom as well as Anthony and Nicholas was. So uh, I decided to stay committed on the top at the last portion of that race. So uh, I knew it was going to be hard to pass in general. So if I just, you know, protect the top side, it, it was going to be a, a really tall task for Anthony and Nicholas to get around me. Yeah, were you worried uh, on that long run uh, coming up to the final caution that uh, they were maybe going to have a shot at it? Because uh, they had closed in from about two seconds back and were right on your bumper with Anthony trying to make the pass down low. Uh, do you think you had burned the tires up at that point and, and you were kind of sitting duck, or did you think you were to be able to hang on? Yeah, I, I'm going to admit I was a little worried because they, I, I had been checking my mirror, like what line they were using. They were committed to stay the bottom the entire run to see, you know, what will happen if the run went on. And they were correct. They they had better tires than I did at the long run. So, uh, yeah, I was a little worried. So I, I tried to make some adjustments myself when I was leading, change the brake fast a little bit to try to find a little bit more speed and not burn off the right front as much. But uh, yeah, I was a little worried. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. So uh, I was actually thankful for that caution that came out, but cause I knew 50 laps uh, would not be enough to get the bomb to work again. So uh, it was, uh, it, for once the yellow kind of benefited me and uh, not the other way around. Yeah, it usually doesn't work that way. I've, I've seen your streams enough, but uh, you come out on top here tonight. Uh, it's gonna be huge momentum going into uh, Watkins Glen next week. Uh, what are your thoughts on going out there? Uh, well, not a road guy, so I'll probably just uh, be riding around uh, most of that race, and uh, I won't be uh, contending for a win for that one. I'm sure Anthony is a, and Nicholas Short are really, really got uh, really, really fast on road courses. They proved that on the roval, so uh, they're gonna probably prove it again here on a Glen. So, uh, go for me next week. Probably a top ten, and but uh, the you know the main goal is just it's to survive and not wreck the car. Yeah, and uh, uh, you did finish with a third place uh, result at the Roval. So uh, you say you're not a road course guy. I've seen you run some pretty solid road course races, but we'll keep an eye on you, see if you can get back to back. Um, and uh, you do close up the points just a tiny bit to Anthony. He's still got a large lead, but uh, you are more than safe uh, in the chase at this point. So uh, does that give you a little bit of comfort uh, knowing that we've just got a, a few races left until that uh, starts? Uh, a few races left. I'm not exactly sure how the point system works, but uh, as long as I'm close uh, and I don't know how the uh, points get reset or, or whatever the case may be. But, uh, but yeah, Anthony's been consistent all year, and he, he deserves to be in a top spot right now. So Yeah, and it's been... Uh kind of a fight between all the top contenders it, it was another example tonight the top four in points were uh, up there fighting for the win so uh you do come out on top in dominating fashion 223 laps led just an insane number um but you finally get the monkey off your back anybody you want to uh, give a shout out to for tonight's victory yeah of course uh you know basketball islands purely t and uh Chevy for now. Um, and I will switch a Toyota tune uh, soon, but thank you uh, for Chevy for giving me a, a really nice hot rod. And uh, of course, my viewers, the viewerships, all the uh, support that I get throughout the week during my uh, official racing. And uh, shout out to you guys at V Speed Sim for putting on a good show, as always. So thanks for that. And thank you for uh, putting on uh, a great race for us to watch. So uh, congrats on the win, and we will catch up with you next week at Watkins Glen. All right, Adam. Thanks, man. Yeah, have a good night. That was Derek Justice, uh, winner of tonight's event. He finally captures a victory, and I think a lot of people have been waiting for that moment and uh, definitely going to be a happy man um, to, to get that monkey off his back, like we said. But uh, comes home your winner. Let's go through the rest of the results here tonight and uh, thank our sponsors 
and get out of here. But uh, coming home with the win, Derek Justice uh, leading the way through six cautions, four lead changes, but he led all but two laps here. So definitely was the favorite uh, at most points throughout the event. But Anthony Burroughs and Nicholas Short coming home second and third. Gave him a big run for his money uh, in the closing laps. Dylan Alt comes home with a nice solid fourth place finish after getting caught up in a couple things. Keith Maiato uh, finishes in the top five, the Perseverance paying off there. Joseph Sizek comes home with a sixth place finish in his first race. Mark Stryker comes home seventh. Chris Samard uh, rides it out to eighth place, one lap down. Kirk Marvel comes home in ninth, and Dylan Parker rounds out the top ten here tonight. Ian Smith comes home 11th. Looks like Justin Walters will come home in 12th. Ryan Libby finishes in the 13th position. Skylar Carnes comes home in 14th. 15th was Vince Marsh. Matt Kemp comes home in 16th. And Justin Botello uh, did not start tonight, so he comes home 17th and last on the field. Once again, tonight's winner, Derek Justice, the Crockett Creek Beef Jerky Bristol 225. I want to thank all the sponsors uh, that helped make tonight's race possible. We want to thank the league here. This is the Norse Force Racing League. If you're interested in getting involved in the action on track, you can go to NorseForceRL.com or check them out on Twitter or Facebook at the links on your screen. I also want to thank you for tuning in here to VSpeed uh, here on Twitch uh, tonight at VSpeed Sim. If you haven't followed or subscribed, please consider doing so. Helps uh, helps us to continue to bring you great racing content throughout the week. Um, you can also find us on YouTube at VSpeed Media where we post race replays as well as other interesting automotive and racing content. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash vspeedsim where you can find race announcements for each and every broadcast. And you can find those same announcements on Instagram and Twitter along with new merchandise as well as on-site reporting. So check us out on all of those platforms. We want to thank you for tuning in here tonight at Bristol race number 14 of the Valhalla Cup Series. And we will be ne back next week with the race at Watkins Glen as these guys are closing in on the chase. Just a few races out, so stay tuned with all the action here in the Valhalla Cup Series. And we will see you next week.